The NBA playoffs is approaching, which means we are in store for the best and most exciting basketball of this season. We'll see coaches use their basketball knowledge to outsmart and outstrategize the other. We'll see shocking upsets from lower seeded teams. We'll see the best and most elite teams prove that they are indeed championship contenders. We'll see rising stars and role players step up and take their game to a whole new level. We'll see frauds that fooled us in the regular season, only to drop productivity in the postseason. We'll see choke jobs by big teams and big comebacks. And we'll see the best and greatest players to play this game stake their claim as a top tier player that rises to the occasion at the biggest and brightest stages. With all that said, we'll be doing long running episodes of memorable playoff series, historical playoff duels, and amazing playoff moments, as well as great playoff performers. For the sake of mentioning, these will mostly feature moments from the first three rounds. The NBA Finals will be talked about in some videos, but that's mainly for another series. So now, with all that out the way, this is MOB's Legendary Playoff Memories. To start off our many playoff videos, let's talk about an all-time great that had many amazing playoff moments. A Boston Celtics legend and one of the two saviors of our league. One of the most clutchest players of all time. Of course, I'm talking about the legend himself, Larry Bird. Larry Bird is someone who played at a high level no matter the level of basketball. College, regular season, it didn't matter. Larry was going to do what Larry does. So when it comes to the playoffs, it shouldn't be a surprise that he has had some exceptional playoff performances and moments. His intensity, hustle, and competitiveness was matched by very few players in the postseason. So let's go on to one of his first playoff moments. 1981 Eastern Conference Finals, Game 7, between the Boston Celtics and their hated rivals, the Philadelphia 76ers. It was late in the fourth quarter in a close game in which the Celtics was down and Bird only had 19 points. He didn't score a single point in the fourth. However, him not scoring changed as crunch time approached. He would end up making two free throws to tie the game up, then making the go-ahead basket with the pull-up bank jump shot to take the lead with a minute to go. This would end up being the game-winning shot as the Celtics defeated their hated rivals and advanced to the NBA Finals, which they would win. That's just the start of Larry Legend's great playoff moments. Larry always had incredible scoring displays in his career, but his offensive ability made frequent appearances in the playoffs. Like in the 1985 first round against the Cavs, when he was lighting them up. Game 1. He dropped 40 points on 56% shooting. Game two, he had 30 points, 11 boards, and seven assists on 51% shooting. He missed game three, came back game four, and had 34, 14, and seven on 56% shooting again to eliminate the Cavs three to one. Remember, this was back when the first round was a best of five. He was doing it all for the Seas while also being efficient. His scoring didn't stop there as the next series Boston went up against the bad boy Detroit Pistons, one of their many matchups. Twice in that series, Game 2 and Game 5, Larry put up over 40 points while securing over 10 rebounds and shooting over 50% from the field. In the 1987 semifinals, in a grueling and underrated series against the Milwaukee Bucks, Bird averaged 30 points, 10 rebounds, and 7 assists. He opened up the series in fascinating fashion, having 40 points, 11 boards, and 7 assists, and 4 steals. In Game 4, he had another 40-point performance with 8 assists. However, the Bucks were a great team and stayed in it winning Game 5 and Game 6, pushing it to 7 games and leading late in the 4th quarter. The Celtics was about to be the first team to blow a 3-1 lead, but Larry Bird being Larry Bird clutched up at the end. He had 31 points and made six consecutive free throws to tie the game, take the lead, and close out the game. This wasn't even the best moment for him in the 1987 playoffs. That we'll get to. Throughout his playoff career, Bird has had some memorable duels. I won't go too in-depth about these duels, as that will be in a future video. 
But duels like with Nick's legend, Bernard King, in the 1984 semifinals. These two are going at it all series long, always looking to one-up each other and lead their teams to victory, showing their jump shooting and scoring talent. Another duel, and probably the most memorable duel for Larry Legend, came in 1988 against rival and all-time great scorer, Dominique Wilkins. I won't say much, but these two were showing how bad they wanted it in an epic seven-game series with two of the best at the helm of it. The crazy part is, you could put all this into account and not even mention Larry Bird's historical postseason in 1986, where he had five 30-point performances out of 12 playoff games and led the Celtics to smoothly beat MJ's Bulls, Dominique's Hawks, and Moncrief's Bucks, only losing one game in that stretch, thus making the NBA Finals and winning the championship in one of the best seasons by a team in NBA history. Now, before we wrap up, I can't close this video out without mentioning two of these historical playoff moments by Larry Bird. Two of the most historical playoff moments by any player. As I stated earlier, those clutch free throws against the Bucks in 1987 was not his biggest moment of the playoffs that year. That came in the Eastern Conference Finals, Game 5 against the bad boy Detroit Pistons. The Celtics were down one with six seconds left. They just lost the possession and they were in danger of losing a pivotal Game 5 in Boston and going down 3-2 to the Pistons. Then, well, just watch. Now there's a steal by Bird. Underneath the DJ, lays it in. Right up, one second left. What a play by Bird. Bird stole the inbounding pass. Laid it up to DJ. DJ laid it up and in. And Boston has a one-point lead. With one left. Oh my, the Larry Bird's steal and assist to Dennis Johnson, one of the greatest moments in playoff history. This gave them the victory, and even though they lost game six because of that steal in game five, they were not eliminated, and then they won game seven to advance to the NBA Finals. His last playoff moment came in 1991. Bird, by this time, was injury riddled, bad back, and wasn't the same legendary player he once was. It was the first round against the Indiana Pacers, and it was the final game, Game 5 in Boston. Bird took a hard bump on his head in the second quarter and left the game. Seemed like hope was lost as the second half started and the Pacers took over. The crowd was quiet, and the Celtics looked to have no life in them. Bird was out, and the Pacers were thriving. However, Larry Legend had one last playoff moment in him. Out of the tunnel, Larry Bird returns as the crowd erupts. He entered the game and the tides turned. Pull-up jump shots, four-court passes, spot-up shots, post-fadeaways. Bird was doing it all. The Celtics would go on to win this game and advance to the second round off of the back of Bird's 32 points, 9 rebounds, and 7 assists. A truly legendary performance by a truly legendary player. Bird is one of the greatest players of all time. His playoffs performances in, is a big contributor to that. Bird led the Celtics to five NBA Finals with his great postseason success and phenomenal performances. So there really is no doubt in my mind, and there should be no doubt in yours, as Larry Bird is an all-time great playoff performer. If you like that video, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to this YouTube channel as we will be pumping out many more playoff moments and many more videos in the future.